Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Code. This is the next video in our GNU slash Linux tutorial series. In this video, we are going to continue exploring the graphical user interface and how to use it. In this video, we are going to look at a few of the things that you should do immediately after installing the system. Though we should have talked about this in the previous one, but everyone wants to explore. So, what is the first thing that we are going to do is, the first important thing is update. Uh, we have installed a fairly new system, but the release was done some time ago, so there would be some updates to your software, there could be security releases and other things. So, the first thing that we are going to see is how to update our system so that we have the latest software and uh, our system is secure. So, the second thing that we are going to see is how to add or manage your software. So, without any delays, let's continue our listing. Okay, so let's continue with our GUI exploration. So, the first thing, as I said, we'll be doing is the update. So, from your menu, you can go to system and in the system, you will find this update manager. Of course, if you remember, you could have typed update and uh, this will show up. So click on your update manager and the update manager will check for the new updates. So depending upon uh, your system, what you have done till now, you may see some set of packages that needs to be updated immediately. So over here it is showing me a list of n number of packages. Now as you will learn, you will be able to decide what you want to update, what you don't want to update. Most probably later on we will be removing certain softwares from our system which we don't need. So for the time being, these are the updates which are re required for security and new Fun functionality that might have been added into this, we are going to say install updates. So now the package manager does one more thing is that all these packages might be requiring some other packages. So it has just checked that also for you and it's telling me that the following packages will also be uh, installed. So you just say OK. Now it's going to ask me for the password. So since this is an administrative task, you'll have to give the password. Now, since we are on Mint or if you're on Ubuntu, it uses the sudo system. So the first user in itself has the administrative privileges. So just give your password and this should start your update. Okay, so the update has started from here. It has started downloading the packages. Now, obviously, this is going to take a lot of time. So, I'll pause my video here. And uh, then, once this update is done, I'll continue with the uh, package manager and how to manage your software. Okay. So now my packages have been updated. So let's see how we can add, remove and manage the software on our system. So again, from your start menu, go to system and here you will see the software manager, fine. So just click on that. Of course you can, you could have just typed in over there in the search and started your software manager in that way. So this is our software managers interface. It's a quite friendly interface. These are the editors pick, the softwares which are commonly used. Then other softwares are put into categories. So depending upon your requirement, you can pick up softwares from this. You can also search for softwares from here. Now since you are new over here, so like if you want a software for say vector graphics, so I'm going to type vector 
and I'm going to let it search over here. So here you will see a list of loads of packages that are there for vector graphics and Inkscape is one of the most famous softwares for vector graphics. So I can click on that. In fact, you'll get some description also. It will tell you how much uh, will be downloaded, how much disk space will be used and you'll also get some reviews about Inkscape. So, if you want, you can just click on install and uh, this package will get installed. So, let's just try on this. I'm going to click on install and the install has started. Again, it says that some certain other packages that are the dependencies for this software, they are needed. So, it's telling me that we need to install those also. So, let's say continue with that. It's asking me for the admin password. And now the installation has started. So by the time it is installing, we can go back and we can continue searching for other softwares. So let's say, uh, what else do you need? Okay, so let's, let's go into games and uh, you can see there are a whole lot of games that you can select from so uh, one of my favorites was L breakout so there is this L breakout I'm going to see it's a small one so I'll just add it to my install I will install this game also Okay, so let's go back again. So this way you can uh, search for different packages and other things and uh, easily install software on your system. If our packages are installed. So let's just uh, see in our menu it should have appeared by now or we can just search it. So you can say Inkscape is here. So this is our vector vector graphics tool. It's a very powerful tool. And uh, the other thing that we had installed was a game that was L breakout. Should come under the games category. Yes. So there is this L breakout game. So this is loaded. Let's say a local game. One player. And start. So here. This is our game. Okay. So, as you can see, it's a fairly easy process to install your packages. Now, what if you want to remove some package? So, let us say I don't need a specific package, say this Gino. G N O T E. Fine. So this is the package which is already installed. Simply search for the package that is installed and you can just say remove and your package will be removed from this. Okay, so the package is uninstalled. If you want, you can reinstall it again from the same procedure. So that is our simple package manager that is available via the graphical interface. No need of command line or anything. Go ahead, search for softwares, try them out. Thanks for watching.